Chapter 8 Comparing Quantities Meaning of Ratio Ratio means comparison of two similar quantities by division. When we write A upon B, it means ratio of A to B. It is written as A colon B. Similarly, when we write B upon A, it means ratio of B to A. It is written as B colon A. Here, A and B are two terms. Remember, when we multiply or divide two terms of a ratio by the same number, the ratio remains unchanged. It means ratio of A to B equal to ratio of 3A to 3B and ratio of B to A equal to ratio of B divided by 5 within round brackets to A divided by 5 within round brackets. Reducing a ratio, ratio of 2 to 4 equal to 2 upon 4 equal to 1 multiplied by 2 upon 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 1 upon 2 or ratio of 1 to 2. If both terms of a ratio have some common factors, we can cancel the highest common factor to reduce the ratio. The ratio is said to be in the simplest form if there is no factor common to the two terms of the ratio. Equivalent ratios If two ratios have the same value, they are called equivalent ratios. For example, ratio of 2 to 5 and 10 to 25 are equivalent because their value is same. That is, ratio of 2 to 5. Ratio of 10 to 25 equal to 10 upon 25 equal to 2 upon 5 equal to ratio of 2 to 5. Forming equivalent ratios. For a given ratio, we can form many equivalent ratios. For example, ratio of 2 to 3, ratio of 4 to 6, ratio of 6 to 9, ratio of 8 to 12 and so on. Direct variation. If one shirt costs rupees 200, then five shirts cost rupees 1000. Clearly, more shirts cost more, while less shirts cost less. Such type of variations are called direct variations. Inverse variation. If one worker finishes a piece of work in four days, then two workers will finish the same in two days. Clearly, more workers will need less days while less workers will need more days to finish the same piece of work. Such type of variations are called inverse variations. Percentage Percentage is a way of expressing a fraction with denominator 100. For example, 8 upon 100, 14 upon 100, 112 upon 100. We express them as 8%, 14%, and 112% respectively. Here, percent means percent. Profit or loss as a percentage. If a shopkeeper buys an article for rupees 120 and sells it for rupees 150, he makes a profit or gain of rupees 30. Rupees 150 minus rupees 120 within round brackets. Here, Rupees 120 is called the cost price CP and rupees 150 is called the selling price SP of the article. Rupees 30, the difference between selling price and the cost price is called the profit or gain. In case the selling price is less than the cost price, the difference is called the loss. Profit equal to SP minus CP where SP is greater than CP. Loss equal to CP minus SP, where CP is greater than SP. If Ram gains rupees 30 by selling an article of rupees 100 to rupees 130, he gains 30%. If Sohan loses rupees 20 by selling an article of rupees 100 to rupees 80, he loses 20%. Remember, Profit percent means 
profit per hundred and loss percent means loss per hundred. Simple interest. When we deposit some money in a bank or post office, it pays us some extra money in the form of interest. Similarly, if we take a loan from a bank, the bank charges interest from us for using its money. The initial amount of money deposited or borrowed is called the principal. For using the money taken from a bank, the borrower has to pay some extra money to the bank. This money is known as interest. The total money, that is, principal plus interest, is called the amount. Amount equal to principal plus interest. Interest depends on principal. More the principal, more will be the interest. Interest also depends upon the length of time period for which the money is deposited or borrowed. More the time, more will be the interest. The interest also depends upon the rate of interest. 10% per annum means on every rupees 100 borrowed, rupees 10 is the interest for one year. If P is the principal, R is the rate of interest and T is the time period, then interest I equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T upon 100.